If you are a real estate investor or you want to be a real estate investor and you want money and funding for your deals, regardless of your credit, regardless of your income and regardless of your experience in real estate investing, don't go anywhere because we're getting ready to plug you into the money in just a moment. Well, welcome to the Jay Connor Show. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, broadcasting to you here from Eastern North Carolina, specifically Moorhead City, North Carolina. And I'm excited to again uh, to have co-hosting the show with me today, my good friend, fellow real estate investor and personal development mind coach, Chaffee Wynn. Hello, Chaffee. Hello, Jay. And hello, everyone else out there. <laughs> So how is Chicago today, Chappy? Chicago is awesome. <laughs> awesome. Same here in Eastern nice, North Carolina. Nice and sunny and bright outside. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So Chappy, before we plug them into the money, let's first tell folks uh, what we are doing here on the Jay Connor Show. In fact, Chappy, you've hosted other shows with me. I always started out as to what we do here. Guess what? It's your lucky day on this show. How about <laughs> tell folks what in the world is the Jay Connor show and what do we talk about here? Well, Jay, we uh, talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no, we, we talk about private money, how to get private money, how to uh, get money in your pocket, how to use private money, and, and also other real estate tips and strategies and techniques because even though you're the private money authority, a lot of people don't realize that you do the full gamut in terms of real estate. One of the things that I love about you and your business is that you've automated your business uh, and you teach people how to automate that entire business process. So in future podcasts, I'm sure you're going to go into that automation piece. You're going to go into how to find deals, how to uh, fix deals, how to work with contractors a bunch of other things. And then uh, one of the things that I also love about you is you also talk about the personal development side of things, the 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 thing that happens between the ears, right? the gray matter, how to use that to be successful. Because as we both know, you can have the checklist of what to do and still people won't succeed. And why not? It's because what's happening between between the ears, right? And if we can get the mindset piece right, if we can help people understand how to think about things the right way, then they'll go about doing things the right way and achieving that success. So not only giving them the absolutely, success, but absolutely. Success, helping them achieving it. Perfect. Well, and folks also, we want you to uh, be engaged with us. We love answering questions. So, you know, if you are watching on uh, YouTube here on uh, this show, then uh, right below uh, the video down there in the comment section. First of all, we'd love to know where you're from. So obviously we got your username, but you know, go ahead and type in your city and state where you're from. We love to know where you're tuning in from. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future episodes. And of course, um, you like what you're learning here, give us a thumbs up below. If you're listening on iTunes, also subscribe so you don't miss out. And also we'd love for you to rate the show and uh, leave us a review. So you keep us motivated to bring in the uh, information to you. All right, Chaffee, we promised them just a moment ago that we're going to plug them into the money for funding of your real estate deals, regardless of experience, credit, or verification of income. What we have waiting for you, everybody, is we've got an online class right now, on demand, free online class that uh, will give you the five steps of exactly how to get to the private money, what private money is, and the five steps to get it. So here it is, everyone. Of course, this is going to be in the show notes as well. Uh, if you're you know, riding down the road, uh, listening to the podcast. So the URL is www.jayconner.com forward slash money podcast. So that's Jay Connor with an ER.com forward slash money podcast. And also, Chavi, tell the folks what we've got for them at the end of that online class. Yeah. So when you watch the online class all the way to the end, at the very end, you have an opportunity to sign up for a strategy session that will help you figure out where you're at and, uh, Give you some tips and advice on where you want to go. And this is a live 
person that you're talking to. So it's not just an <laughs> online checklist or something that you fill out questionnaire. It's a chance for you to actually schedule a time to sit down and, and talk with a live person that will listen to where you're at today and where you want to go and help you put the steps together to get there. So live strategy session. Perfect. Perfect. And I'll tell you what, Chaffee, you know, you and myself, we have been students of personal development, no matter what business you're in, what kind of relationships you've been. We've both been big time students of that. Oh, ever since our, our early 20s. In fact, uh, one thing we always do towards the end of the show is uh, we uh, talk about some personal development strategies, which we will cover in this show. But before that, Chaffee, let's let everybody know what are we going to talk about in this show as it relates to real estate investing. So one of the main sources now in the later show, you're going to talk, uh, you're going to tell people or you're going to talk about how to find private lenders. Right, you're gonna go through all the steps and uh, all the different processes on on where to find them, how to find them, uh, what to say to them, et cetera, et cetera. And one of the primary places that I've found private money in the past, and that uh, a lot of people uh, that you work with and that I've worked with find private money in the past, are people that have self-directed IRAs. And most people don't know that if you have a self-directed IRA or a retirement account, that you can actually use that money to invest or buy and invest in real estate. And so I think, Jay, this episode, you're going to talk all about that, right? You got it, man. You got it, man. And before we dive deep into it, just in case we've got some new viewers or new listeners, how about you and I take a moment and just quickly tell folks why we're qualified to be giving out this information. How about that? Sure. Absolutely. All right. Go for it. I'll go first. How about that? Or you want to go first? I'm happy. No, you go first. <laughs> all right. All right. So uh, just in a nutshell, folks, I don't want to hold you all up on getting the uh, information. So I was born and raised here in uh, the Moorhead City, North Carolina area. Grew up here. And for years, I was in the mobile home industry with my father, Wallace Connor. At one time, back into the 80s, he and his company had sold over 100,000 homes manufactured homes to uh, people all across the nation. And so I grew up in the mobile home industry. I grew up in the housing industry, helping people get a home. And so the financing pretty much went away in that industry <laughs> about 15 years ago. <laughs> and I knew if I ever got out of uh, manufactured housing or mobile homes, if you will, industry, I wanted to get into investing in houses. Interesting enough, 20 years ago, I started my first commercial development. And so we've done shopping centers as well. But uh, most of our time has been investing in single family houses. So the first six years of the business, Chaffee, as you know, I funded my deals at the local bank and mortgage companies. And then 2008, 2009, I was cut off with no notice, as most people were, <laughs> from traditional lending. And so I was introduced to this wonderful world of private money. Since that time, uh, never missed out on a deal because I didn't have the money. In the first 90 days, Chaffee, as you know, uh, we raised over $2 million in less than 90 days to fund our deals. So actually, that was a blessing in disguise, being cut off from the banks. And uh, so that's how I got into this world of you know private money, rehab the almost 400 houses right now using private money. And then I discovered my true passion about seven years ago and I, we travel the nation we do about this a year. A lot of those with you, Chappie, of course, at, uh, at our own live events where we teach, train, motivate, and educate real estate investors that are either new, never done real estate deals and, you know, and or need funding for their deals and, and their season. But uh, Chappie, how about your background? Well, Jay, I was, well, Jay, actually, I was actually born, born in, in Saigon. In Saigon. So uh, I came over to this country back in the mid '70s. So I am a refugee. Since then, I am a legalized U.S. citizen, by the way. <laughs> and and so I I uh, grew up uh, as a refugee, and we were on welfare, we were on uh, food stamps, and so I'm ever grateful for those programs. And I, I believe there is a purpose for those programs. And the, there's a right way of using those, obviously, and obviously a wrong way as well. Regardless, though, 
I always grew up wanting more. I always grew up knowing that there was a lot more out there for me. My parents, however, were of the belief of that I should go to school, get good grades and get a good job. And so that's what I did. I grew up and went to school and got a good job. I was in the corporate world for over 11 years as an engineer. And I was a certified project manager for six of those years. And so I had this experience of working with multi-million dollar teams and uh, multiple different teams and different projects. And I thought, hey, this real estate thing, I could do that. You know, I could do a little rehab for a couple hundred thousand dollars. No big deal. So I got uh, started in real estate and uh, guess what? Made some mistakes and uh, learned some things along the way. <laughs> so <laughs> like all of us, on, yeah. right? And then I learned the right way how to do things. And so. Uh, started building my real estate business uh, across the country, and I got to the same point uh, where I was actually equity rich, cash poor. Um, I was maxed out with banks, couldn't get any money, so I had to do exactly what you did, which was go out and raise private money. So I ended up right. raising uh, over $5 million for different deals across the country. Unfortunately, I didn't have a program that uh, you put something like you put together. I was just winging it, right? Right. <laughs> Which I know a lot of people do. And, you know, fortunately, you know, I didn't get into any kind of trouble, although I know you can get into trouble if, you, if you're not careful with that. So, and then uh, through that real estate arena, I met you, obviously, a little bit over nine years ago. Yep. And we've been kept in touch ever since then. And, through that, I also found my true passion as well. And my true passion is coaching, success coaching, helping people grow their business, helping people have breakthroughs, or helping people get over some of their challenges or get through some of their challenges, and really achieving a higher level of success. So I've been doing uh, success coaching now for over a decade and continue to love it every single day. Yeah. Well, speaking of breakthroughs, I've witnessed it. And, and just so everybody knows, you know, Chaffee is at all of my uh, live events, real estate investing, personal development, et cetera. And I tell you what, every live event that we have, Chaffee, people experience the breakthroughs. They have big aha moments. You know, we, you know, you and, and our wonderful team of coaches, we, we do the uh, strategy sessions, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. Of course, what folks can also take advantage of free at the end of the online class uh, that we've given out. But yeah, Chaffee, I tell you what, it's just an honor to to call you a friend and to be making a difference in people's lives together. I love you, brother. Love you, too. Thank you, Jay. Feelings reciprocated. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. All right. So let's let's dive in. Let's talk about self-directed IRAs. So I tell you what, Chaffee, help me focus in here for our viewers and listeners. Help me break this down step by step how to use retirement funds to fund your deals. So let me let you do the leading questions. How do you want me to start out? Well, first of all, I, I want to, if you can go in and clarify, there are only a certain number of companies that will allow you to do this. When you go to one of the big companies, Fidelity, Ameritrade, Charles Schwab, they always tell you that they have a self-directed IRA, which <laughs> you can only really use to buy their stocks or their mutual funds or anything like that. That's not what we're talking about, correct? That's correct. That's correct. So when we talk about self-directed IRAs, as you said, we're not talking about going into a person, going into their retirement funds and actually pulling out their retirement funds and being able to still do business with wherever they've got the retirement funds. You know, it could be at a current employer or it could be a past employer that they still have their mutual funds and stocks and et cetera with that prior program. So there's just a few companies in the nation that are approved by the IRS and they are also referred to as third party custodians, third party custodians that are approved by the IRS. Here's how it works in step one. And I'm a private lender, by the way, myself, as you know, Chappie, mm -hmm. I do both sides of the business. I mean, what's, what's wonderful about being a private lender, if you want to be involved in the real estate investing business totally passively and you don't have to find deals and you don't have to, you know, rehab any houses and market and et cetera, et cetera, 
which by the way is totally fun once you learn how to automate it, right? Which we'll be talking about in future podcasts. But if you just want to sit back home and collect checks and do nothing and be well protected, there's the world of private lending, you know, in a nutshell. But back to the self-directed IRAs. What you can do as an individual is you can take your current uh, retirement funds. Now, let me give a little caveat here. If you are currently employed by a company and your retirement funds are still with that company, if you are not happy with the rates of return, I mean, my lands, I mean, Carol Joy and I, we've got right now 47 private lenders that are funding our deals. All right. By the way, folks, you don't need 47 private lenders. You know, I started out, I started out with one. Okay. You don't need almost $7 million that, you know, you're running from house to house or moving from house to house. But if you're with your employer now, and that's where your retirement funds are. And if you're not happy with the returns, you can ask your plan administrator. So there's, there's something that we will put in the show notes. And that is, you know, talk, step one, if you are currently employed, talk to your plan administrator of your retirement account or retirement funds, and even see if you have the option to transfer funds out tax-free, of course, penalty-free, over to a self-directed IRA company. So back to the self-directed IRA companies, there's just a few uh, in the nation that are approved by the IRS. So what you can do is either currently where you're employed or it's a retirement fund that's in the stock market or mutual funds or whatever. It's a vehicle. It's a way that you can move funds over tax-free, penalty-free, and truly self-direct those funds and be a private lender to the real estate investor. And I think, as you mentioned just a moment ago as well, Chavi, in using self-directed IRAs, you can use your retirement funds and actually in, be a real estate investor. You can invest to a house. You can use invest in a house. You can, or commercial property. You can use the retirement funds to rehab the property that needs rehabbing. And then all those profits are tax-free and penalty-free. So that's a beautiful thing. One beautiful thing about self-directed IRAs is that as opposed to contributions, okay, which has an annual limit as to how much people can contribute annually, there's no limit to the profits tax-free and penalty-free. So what you want to clear up on that first point first before we move forward? Well, depending on your IRA, it's either tax-free or tax-deferred, correct? Correct. Yeah, it can be, it can be Roth. It can be a Roth IRA. Right. It can be coming from a 401k. So any type of retirement funds apply to this strategy. Which, and so most IRA accounts, the maximum contribution is, I think, between five, 6000 right around that range per year. Opposed to investing in real estate and then getting profits, and those profits can then add to that amount without limit, right? So you can end up having 20, 30, 40,000 per year in your account or more, depending on how many profits you have, correct? Exactly. For example, one of our private lenders just last year, one of our private lenders from their retirement funds made $65,000 in one year tax-free, penalty-free. I don't know how long this opportunity is going to be around, <laughs> but, right. but it's, I mean, and now it's been around for a long time. It's been around for decades and decades and decades. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like one of the few strategies I know today that the government allows us to make unlimited profits and returns per year, tax-free and penalty-free. I mean, I don't know what else is out there. If you have, if you have left a company, like when I left my corporate job after 11 years, I had a 401k and a pension plan. And I was able to take both of those because I left the company and roll that over, convert it to a self-directed IRA. So Correct. if you have a 401k or a pension plan from a company that you were previously at, and you're not attached to that company today, you can roll that over and then use that fund, those rolled over funds to invest with you. Right, Jay? Exactly. That's uh, it. That's it. 
So let's give out the company. Let's give out the contact information to the company that I've been doing business with ever since I learned about self-directed IRAs. Fact, Chaffee, I think I learned about this company and self-directed IRAs at the very first real estate investing event that, that you and I met each other <laughs> as, as I'm thinking about it. Because that was my first, real, when I met you, that uh -huh. was my first real estate investing seminar or conference that I'd been to. Now, let me go ahead and give out some advice to our viewers and listeners. Don't do what I did. And that is the first six years of the business I was in. I, I, I did everything by what I learned in the mobile home business and reading books. All right. That's not the way to learn the business. <laughs> My advice on that point is get a mentor, get someone to work with that's already knows the business. So uh, let's give out the name of the company. So the name of the company is Equity Trust, Equity Trust. They're out of Ohio. And their website is www.trustetc.com. In fact, I'll just uh, when we get through the show here, uh, Chavi, I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll put the um, the website right here below my fingers. Uh, www.trustetc.com. All right. So, in fact, Chavi, you have been around the folks from uh, Equity Trust many many times at my live events because you're always at my live events and. Right. Of course, Equity Trust uh, comes to my live events as well and 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 talks and and so um, my fa my experience for nine years has been fantastic with uh, Equity Trust. I'm a private lender by having my my retirement funds at Equity Trust, and I also refer all my new potential private lenders if they don't have a self directed IRA account to move their funds over to Equity Trust. Chappie, what's your experience personally and otherwise been with um, self-directed IRAs? Oh, it's been wonderful. Just, just like you said, it's, you know, one of the few methods that you can earn unlimited amounts of money tax-free or tax-deferred from the government. So definitely take advantage of that. And, and as you said, when, when your students or when your listeners attend your live events, you actually have a representative there that they can sit down with and have a discussion with. and answer any questions and get that process started. So exactly. And, you know, since our show is typically around 20 to 30 minutes, I don't have that much time to dive in deep, but also at every one of our, you know, live events that we do, not only is equity trust there and, you know, all the attendees get to network as well with, uh, you know, the rep from equity trust, but I teach an entire session step by step. That every one of my live events, I teach an entire session. You've been there, Chappie. You've seen yep. it. As to step by step, exactly from step one to step 14, how to get your deals funded with a self directed IRA company and how to work with you know, private lenders. And what I teach is we're, we, as the real estate entrepreneur, we are sort of like the orchestra director. And, 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 you know, in putting the deal together and working together with the self directed IRA company and your private lenders. In fact, Chaffee, let's give everybody right now an actionable item. And, and, and here's the deal. Over half of our private lenders that we have funding our business, our deals, over half of them are using their retirement funds. And what I did is when talking with a new potential private lender, particularly someone what I call from the warm market, someone that I've got some kind of relationship with, and I teach other real estate investors the same thing. When I ask them, have they ever heard of self-directed IRAs? Of course they haven't. You know, even though Equity Trust has been around for decades and they've got in the teens of billions of dollars that they are a custodian for, most people have never heard of self-directed IRAs. And so when I say that to a new potential private lender, it's like, you know, deer in headlights, don't know what that is. So here's the actionable item, everybody, uh, Chaffee, for us to share. I mean, if you want to be a real estate investor and you don't want to miss out on over half the funding available to you as a real estate investor, you definitely want to establish a relationship with a representative at a self-directed IRA company that 
you can then refer all of your new private lenders that may be interested to talk with that rep, find out what their options are. I mean, Chaffee, you know, a lot of times I'll have a three-way phone call of introduction, introducing a new one of my private lenders that wants to be in business with us and fund our deals. And they've got retirement accounts. Comments, Chavi, on that piece? No, that's a that's a great piece of advice is is getting a representative connection at one of these companies that can then help explain the process, how to get the money, the funds from one account to another, and really just handhold client or your prospect, your private lender through that the the process of getting that over so that they feel comfortable uh, making sure that they know those steps. Exactly. And plus, Chaffee, um, as you were saying that, I'm just reminded of the uh, free online class that we told everybody about at the beginning of the show. I talk about self-directed IRAs in more detail on that free online class. And so let me encourage everyone that's viewing or listening in. After you go to jconnor.com forward slash money podcast, at the end of that training, if you've got further questions about, you know, self-directed IRAs and how they work, Chaffee, let's give out my uh, office number and people can just dial in and we'll be glad to answer any questions that may not have gotten answered on the, um, on the online class. So our office number, and we'll put this in the show notes as well. In fact, at the end of it, I'll just have it. Uh, I'll put the numbers here, uh, right here on the screen. If you're watching there on YouTube. So just dial in with any questions after you watch that free online class. 252-808-2927, 252-808-2927. Chaffee, we run out of time on uh, real estate investing and uh, private money and all that, but we always don't want to end without giving some personal development, personal growth strategies. And I tell you what, uh, on the previous episode, Chaffee, uh, you shared with folks a book that had really had a major impact. And I know you're a bookaholic. I'm a bookaholic when it comes to personal development. How about share with some, share with our viewers and listeners a book that you really, really recommend in the personal development space? The, the reason I recommend this book is that it's a very simple, easy read. Uh, as I said uh, on the last uh, episode, The Think and Grow, Grow, Grow Rich was the other book. And that book is uh, over 200 pages with a ton of information which I absorbed, although you kind of have to be ready to absorb that information in that book. This book is just a great story. It's a very easy read. You can finish it in an hour or two. Uh, Just sit down and with a cup of coffee and read it. And the book is uh, Think It, not Thinking Real Rich. I just mentioned that. (laughs) The book is Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And the reason I love this book is, one, it's just a story um, that really opens the mindset about money. Um, how to use money, how to grow money. And it's simple and easy to understand that anybody that, even if you don't really want to dive into deep details, will get some huge aha moments from just understanding how to really apply money in your life. So Rich Dad, Poor Dad, great book. Awesome. Awesome. Chaffee, I don't think I've shared this with you because, well, I couldn't have shared it with you. It just came out like last week. Okay. And we haven't talked about books over the past week. So there's this book that I'm just really into right now. I mean, I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. So the author's name is Hal Elrod. Hal Elrod came out with The Miracle Morning some years ago. And so he now has like a series of books, you know, Miracle Morning for this group, Miracle Morning for that group. Well, the book he's just come out with that I'm really into is called The Miracle Morning, What the Wealthy Do Before 8 a.m. So this is The Miracle Morning for Millionaires or, you know, what they do. And anyway, I'll give I'll just go and give the bottom line. But you got to get the book. You got to get the book. Okay. So the wealthy. So hell, real quick, how Elrod had a really, really bad accident that he was in. And you probably know that story, Chappie. But he was in a bad accident years ago. And so he studied, I mean, like pretty much died and, and was like, like totally gone almost. But anyway, he studied the celebrities and the wealthy as to what do they do in the mornings. 
And so he said, well, you know, this person does this technique. You know, this person does affirmations. You know, this person does exercise. He discovered six common things that people do that are wealthy in the morning. He says, what would happen if I did all six? What would happen if I did all six? And so the acronym is SABERS. And so Hal started practicing all six of these uh, strategies. And SABERS stands for silence, affirmations, visualization, exercise, reading, and scribing or, or writing. You can't end SABER with two hours, right? So scribing instead of reading, right? SABERS. And so he's put a, he's put it together in a way that you're able to do all six of those congruently back to back within 60 minutes in the morning. And uh, he even goes into, oh, I don't have 60 minutes. I don't have 60 minutes. Well, you know, he talks about that. But he even has a way you can boil it down to six minutes. You can practice each modality mm -hmm. uh, just one minute at a time. So that's the latest book that I'm in. Awesome. Anyway. Taffy, man, you're awesome to have you on the show. Thank you for coming back again. Parting comments. No, as as uh, we said before, make sure that you subscribe, rate, and comment below. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And again, if you're on YouTube, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. All right, and uh, also we'd love to hear where you're from. Put in there, you know, hey, you know, you're from Morehead City, North Carolina. And again, take care, uh, take advantage of the uh, free online training we got for you and the free strategy session, business uh, session we have. So with that, folks, thank you for joining us here on another episode of the Jay Connor Show. Until the next show, here's wishing you all the best and taking your business to the next level. Bye for now.